it's already out of the box for you. You can set this up in a matter of hours and be up and running and collecting data. Fortunately, if you don't buy this kit and put it into your lab, your wife, your husband, they will leave you. Today we're going over the Stationary AI Platform. This is part of the Aloha family of kits, which stands for Low Cost Hardware. The idea being that researchers do not want to break the bank when they're setting up machine learning laboratories, and so we keep the costs as low as we can. This kit can be found all over the world. It was pioneered at Stanford about a year and a half ago. Uh, they asked us to make the original kits. They've been evolving ever since. You can find them at Stanford, MIT, CMU, Berkeley, uh, top labs and schools all over the world. Um, and top startups. Um, if you want to call Google a startup at Google DeepMind, uh, places like uh, physical intelligence, um, it's everywhere and people have loved it. And so we've got the next generation here to show you today. This kit is made to be stationary and Mark will tell you why. Yeah, so our stationary AI is meant for lab environments where you have a well-controlled environment that you can have consistent data sets from session to session or from kit to kit but also collaborating with other labs or other offices around the world. So you know that if someone takes it here, they can recreate it on a different stationary AI in anywhere else in the world. Right, and this is to answer the need for companies and labs that are starting to get into collecting large data sets, right? right. So they want uniform data, they want to be able to do it very quickly and easily. Um, they want the tools that are on this kit as well. You know, we have two tools that are physical as well as in the software realm to make it easy to collect data quickly. So why don't you tell them about some of those features? Yeah, first let's go over what the kit comes with. So this is for bimanual manipulation, meaning you have two leader arms and two follower arms on here. Um, these are going to be connected via a ethernet cable, so it allows you to easily integrate it within your network infrastructure. Um, it also includes, if you opt for it, a uh, computer on the side as well as a touch screen. So this touch screen is going to make it really easy for even non-technical users to be able to initiate training sessions, gather that data, and you can also automate that data being uploaded to Hugging Face. So Hugging Face is going to be not only a free resource for you to use uh, to store your data that frees up uh, from local, but it's also our integrated pipeline. So this allows for very easy data collection, storage, uh, sharing of that data, as well as uh, train models as well. So you can collaborate with anyone or have private repositories on that. Traditionally, a researcher would have to do all of this setup on their own. They'd have to figure out where the cameras go, they'd have to build a uh, cage or a frame for it, they'd have to figure out the APIs on the arms, they'd have to write all of your pipeline to, to get it plugged into everything. Whereas here it's, it's already out of the box for you. You can set this up in a matter of hours and be up and running and collecting data. You know, the idea is that you can get you know, a dozen of these set up and immediately be amassing large amounts of data. And if you do want to create your own custom projects, that's really where the controllers for these come in handy. So the iNERF controller is a ARM Cortex-based custom board. And what we have on there is a C++ driver with Python bindings. So this makes it really easy for researchers who aren't computer scientists to be able to develop custom applications or custom models and be able to quickly build upon that. You also have access to ROS. So all of those libraries within ROS, you have access to those and that is a lot of the community work that's already been done for you, for you to build upon. Right, and the concept here is, is Basically everything you need is in the box, but it's also modular, so you can plug in at any level you want. So if you want to talk to it at a very high level through something like ROS, you can. You can use our pipelines. If you want to dig in deeper, you can do that as well and just plug into the API at C++ or a Python level. If you want to talk straight to the motors individually, you can do that too. You can go right around all of that stuff and just hard code directly to the motors on their own protocol. So like we don't box anything out. You can get access at any level, um, kind of choose your, choose your own poison, if you will. So. Computers have been interesting, right? So sourcing computers has, has been difficult. And we every time we source a computer, things move around in the market, and then we have to source another one. Um, so Mark, why don't you talk about how we're solving that for people? Because that's another pain point if you're setting up a system like this on yourself, is trying to choose the computer. Right. And then there's different levels of what can be done. You can just do data collection, or you can start doing inferencing and model testing, mm -hmm. uh, all the way up to like cloud computing. So tell them how we solve that. Yeah, we take a lot of the work out of it for you. 
So we source the computers, they come preloaded, and uh, we have several tiers, whether it's just you wanting to do data collection, wanting to do data collection and inferencing, or on-device training as well. Um, we also have access to resources like Google Colab, so you can easily offload on any one of those tiers your model training to the cloud. Not only is it affordable, but it's extremely powerful. So within a less than a day and maybe like seven to ten dollars, you can train a large model mm -hmm. and free up your computer to continue to collect data or other developments that you need to make. Yeah, and should we talk about um, being able to do simulations and how that's coming? We're working on right now Mujico, Gazebo, Isaac Sim and others. Uh, they're in the pipeline to be released later this year, probably around summertime. So keep a watch out, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we'll cover all of those tools as you want to take your training data even further with a simulated environment. This is where you can get hundreds or thousands of additional data sets without the need to physically do them. And that helps augment your data model training. Right, and so you can do your initial collection you know, with a batch of these, then go up and do simulation with them, and then go back and do your testing on the batch that you have. Right. And then it's as if you've got, you know, hundreds if not thousands of these kits at the same time. And all of our arms and our kits are integrated into that entire pipeline. Yeah. All right, Mark, why don't you show us how to collect a session? Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, right here, you'll see your four camera feeds. Uh, they're not showing right now because we don't have a session going. Uh, you'll have your task selection up here, so any of your pre-programmed tasks that you'd like to do, uh, as well as the number of episodes you'd like to collect per session. You'll see three buttons down here, start recording, end recording, and re-record, in case you had messed up. Let's hit start. You're going to hear some audio prompts and a warm-up at the beginning of each training session. All right, let's record a session. Let's go over some of the more nitty gritty stuff. For example, you get 500 hertz control uh, on our custom iNerve controller. So this is industrial level, uh, just like you can on any other uh, industrial level thing. So real deep access as well. One of the great features is the industrial gravity compensation. Makes it really smooth for an operator to not get strain or stress while they're collecting even up to hundreds of episodes a day. Show him, Vanna. Yes, I'm Vanna. I'm it's part of my job this. description. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> you can also do custom loaded mass profiles. So just as the nature of it is, we want this to be able to be augmentable for your custom projects. So if you want gravity compensation to work right and you have a different end effector or different bumpers or a different camera, that's something you can do as well. That's right. Um, our URDF files go down to the nut and bolt. Like we take it very seriously to give um, the best data possible to our clients. So our URDFs literally down to the bolt. From there, you can always talk to us. So we're really collaborative here. Um, we understand researchers and engineers need a solution that works for them. So you can always reach out to us at sales at trostonrobotics.com with any project questions. You also get lifetime product support, a one-year warranty, easy replacement parts for the lifetime of this product, and tons and tons of documentation, tutorials, videos. You know, we really want you to have every tool and resource for this product. Uh, and that's really what goes above and beyond our com competitors, right? Right, I mean, and we, we are a very um, market-driven and client-driven product development company, right? Like we keep very close relationships with our clients. Um, what we say here a lot of times is like, we don't know what the market wants, the market has to tell us. Like we're very good at making the tech inside these kits, but until we work with clients and get like pointed in a direction and told these are the features that matter, these are the things we care about, then we start to make the kits around those sort of feedback. So like we love um, working with our clients and we don't just do a handoff and then disappear. We wanna hear from you, we wanna know what worked, what didn't. Um, in this industry, it's moving at lightning speed, like any new tech does, but machine learning, oh my Lord, like it's, things are obsolete in six months, right? So our plan here is to move very, very quickly um, and keep adding these features in from what we've learned from clients. Yeah. So we, we are very reactive. And so um, if people want changes in kits, we make them very rapidly. Yeah. And if you think there's a good opportunity for collaboration or partnership, feel free to reach out to us and uh, we'll explore that as well. So the bottom line on the stationary AI is that um, 
unfortunately, if you don't buy this kit and put it into your lab, they, they will fire you, right? Yeah. Like your lab will fail. Um, you're talking about millions in lost funding. Third degree burns. Right. You know, your children, your wife, they will leave you, your husband. Um, it's inevitable, yeah, you know. Bob. Right. And we've heard stories. Um, we've seen videos of children packing and leaving. Right. Uh, they take the dog every time. They don't even know where to go. Right. And the wife or the husband usually will go work for their lab and probably start a, a new relationship. Check the playground, with, the local playground. They might right. be there. So, you know, they will leave you for your rival lab, which bought the kit. I mean, and so we don't want to see that happen. We're really here to help you. That's what this is about. They're going to get more PC money than you. That too, right? Bigger house um, and happiness. You know, we all know that money equals happiness. And so we don't want you to be sad. Um, so give us a call and we will, you know, help you avoid that future, that tragic, tragic future. We also accept faxes. Yeah, faxes. Do we still have a fax? We'll look into that. We'll use the faxes. That's a fax. Thanks for listening. Trust in Robotics, helping innovators innovate. Trust in Robotics, helping innovators innovate.